The human genome is not only made upon helpful or constructive genetic elements, there is much more in our genome. We call them junk DNA, intron, molecular parasites, and many other ways according to their action. One of them is selfish genetic elements, which do not seem to benefit their hosts, but instead seek only to propagate themselves. These parasitic nature of the genome makes them aggressive and allows them to invade in a gene pool, which can cause an increase in the population frequency of the allele or chromosome that is favored in transmission, even if it confers a disadvantage on its carriers. While we've known about these genomic parasites for many years, but how exactly they work was vastly unknown. Is this genetic element the only winner? How are they distorting sex ratios? Is there any counteraction against these harmful events? To understand all these incidents, Davin Cypress Graves, a university dean's professor in the Department of Biology and Christina A. Muirhead, a computational biologist and population geneticist at the University of Rochester, and published their work in Nature Ecology and Evolution. Specifically, the study looks at the genomes of three closely related species of Drosophila, fruit flies. Fruit flies share about 70% of the same genes that cause human diseases and are similar to humans on the molecular level. This similarity makes them an ideal candidate for genetic study. Moreover, fruit flies have much shorter reproductive cycles, not more than two weeks, so scientists can study several generations of the flies in a short time scale. The researcher noticed that each of the Drosophila species had 5 to 12 meiotic drug genes on the X chromosomes. This gene of interest, a type of selfish genetic element, managed to get into the next generation in more than 50% of offspring. This mode of genetic transmission permits itself to spread rapidly through a population. Researchers introduce the mechanisms by saying the evolutionary conflict between drivers and enhancers on one side versus targets and suppressors on the other can potentiate molecular arms, races characterized by recurrent bouts of innovation and counter-innovation. The genes investigated by the researchers are related to the meiotic drive gene distorter on the X docks, which causes Y-bearing spermated maturation to be disrupted. The newly discovered genes were dubbed DOX-like, or DXL, by the researchers. The DXL genes create a histone protein that causes sperm mortality by disrupting DNA metabolism by interfering with DNA packaging. The drive genes get an evolutionary advantage by killing Y-bearing sperm, Chris Graves says. But the individuals carrying the drive genes suffer reduced fertility, and the population becomes increasingly female-biased, risking eventual extinction. To balance the scales, the researchers uncovered DXL gene duplicates posing as a selfish DXL gene and conducted a counteroffensive against the original DXLS. Instead of expressing DXL proteins normally, these duplicates use RNA interference to silence actual DXL genes, which is a significant difference. To put it another way, the rest of the fruit fly genome appears to have evolved to inhibit selfish DNA and ensure survival. Similar repetitive gene copies like the DXL genes that selfishly bias sex ratios are common to the X and Y chromosomes of great apes and humans, says Chris Graves. These are just one line of evidence that evolutionary arms races have important consequences for genome evolution.